Hi, how are you? Let's learn how to write body paragraphs for the problem solution essay. So we have discussed the planning as well as the introduction for the problem solution essay. Now we'll start the body paragraphs. So writing body paragraphs is not difficult. It is just about the strategy we use for writing. Let us learn. So supporting paragraphs. We need to know the question. Okay. And we need to understand the question properly. If we have planned the question, then only we can write supporting paragraphs effectively. And in supporting paragraphs, we use five sentences. The first sentence will be define, outline the ideas. So just outline your ideas in the first sentence. In the second sentence, explain the first reason or first idea with the help of one complex sentence. Explain second idea with the help of another complex sentence. Then in the next sentence, you need to mention an example. An example should always be related to the reasons mentioned in the first sentence or the topic sentence. And at last, you can conclude, but it is optional. Now, never write more than two reasons or ideas in a single body paragraph as you will not be able to explain more than two reasons properly. Now, word limit should be in between 100 to 110 words in each body paragraph. Let's start writing. Now, we have the same question. Demand for food is increasing worldwide. What is the cause of this? Demand for food is increasing worldwide. What is the cause of this? What measures can the international community as well as the government take to meet this demand? As I have explained earlier, every question has a statement and this is the statement. So in body paragraph one, we'll be answering the first question as this particular question has two sub questions. So we'll be answering the first sub question. What is the cause of this? That means why demand for food is increasing. So what are we answering here? We are answering why demand for food is increasing. So we'll be explaining this in detail. Now, the primary reason behind this is the rapid population growth. So the primary reason behind the demand for food, behind the increase in demand for food is the rapid population growth which is attributing to, attributing means leading, which is attributing to the increased growing consumption of edible products. Besides this, people are consuming less amount of food and wasting more. So what was this? The first was, the first one was first reason and along with explanation. Now, Besides this, people are consuming less amount of food and wasting more. And this is happening as they don't know the value of food. Now, R2, reason 2 and explanation. Okay. Now, elaborate. The diverse variety of food available during buffet in any hotel is also a reason of concern. The diverse variety of food available during any buffet. So whenever we go for buffet, we see that there is a variety of food available. Because of the diverse variety, we tend to eat more and even waste more. So this is also a reason of concern as individuals tend to waste more in this case. So what have I done? So guys, first reason along with explanation. Second reason, explanation. Now I have explained, elaborate the second reason. Elaborate is like you are just answering why, how. So you are elaborating with the help of answering, uh, by answering why and how. Now the example and example should always be related to either of two reasons. Okay. So, an article published in The Times, an article published in The Times stated that 20% of food is thrown in trash. 20% of food is thrown in the trash every year by a hotel's restaurant during buffet lunches and dinners. Now, what is happening? 
an article published in the times recently published or stated that 20% of food is thrown in trash every year by a hotel's restaurant so by a restaurant during buffet lunches and dinner 20% of food is a huge quantity okay so that is getting wasted why during the buffet lunches so what am i doing i am strengthening my idea i am strengthening my reason too with the help of this example so that is writing an example now at the end i am concluding the whole paragraph thus the disposable of eatables is one of the reasons behind this because i have explained two reasons so obviously i am going to write thus the disposable of eatables is one of the reasons behind this now we'll switch to body paragraph 2 how will we write body paragraph now in body paragraph 2 we have already answered the first sub question we'll be answering sub second sub question what measures can the international community as well as the government take to meet this demand so what measures can be taken in order to meet this increasing demand so now the innovation of latest machineries for the high crop production the innovation of latest machineries for the high crop production can be taken care of by the international community as well as the government to meet this emerging demand emerging demand okay so we have used this collocation here emerging demand increasing demand high rising demand so the innovation of latest machineries for the high crop production can be taken care of by the international community or the foreign community as well as the government to meet this emerging demand moreover manual harvesting of crops is not only now i am explaining it more why innovation of latest machineries is required okay so i have given the first solution i am explaining moreover manual harvesting of crops so manually cutting the crops is not only a time taking procedure but also an environment polluting one so what is this this is a complex structure not only but also one of my favorite structures okay therefore the latest equipment will ease the work of farmers now what will happen therefore the latest equipment will ease the work of farmers so now i have explained how innovation of latest machineries will help the farmers by explaining by this why and how this is what i have done i have done solution 1 how okay now if the farmers get aid from the foreign countries if the farmer get aid if the farmers get aid from the foreign countries in form of updated farming technologies they would have a sense of contentment in continuing their agricultural work owing to less workload again i am explaining so what did i do in one of the sentences i have explained how and in the next sentence i have explained why okay so this is the way we write a body paragraph we are just answering how why we are explaining what how why so that's what there is that's what is there in body paragraph in addition the government can encourage in addition the government can encourage people to actively participate now in addition that means solution 2 in addition the government can encourage people to actively participate in the agriculture business by providing them loans at low interest rates by providing them loans at low interest rates which in turn will benefit the cause what will it do which in turn will benefit the cause finally awareness campaigns should be held now another reason theek okay? hai why am i giving three reasons here because here we are talking about international community as well as the government so we have to explain what international community can do and what government can do so i am explaining it more i am elaborating it i am expounding it okay so finally awareness campaigns should be held to educate people about the repercussions of food crisis so this was one of the problems i discussed earlier wastage of food okay so solution can be this so for that wastage of food i had to give solution that's the only reason i have written the solution here and at last our example various studies reveal that more than 20% of farmers in developing countries more than 20% of farmers in the develop in developing nations 
are quitting their profession are quitting their occupation every year owing to lack of support from the foreign community as well as the government so now what measures can the government take so i am this is this example is related to the first one so they are leaving they are leaving the they are quitting their profession because of lack of support and this solution can be given to them in order to like make them continue their farming business or their agricultural business so i believe you have understood how to write supporting paragraphs effectively just practice the same and check it with the answer given here that's all for this lecture i am going to proceed to the next one which is conclusion bye bye